baby. It's the time of day again where we fight zombies and have fun. It is uh, 43 days survived. That means 57 days to go. We're almost at the halfway point, guys. I don't know if I ever thought we'd get there. I guess we're not there yet. <laughs> it would be both awesome and horrible to have our entire team wiped out at this point. Awesome only because it would prove to me that, hey, there's a, there's a legitimate challenge embedded here. Terrible, because fuck, it's taking us forever to get here. Although it'd be fun to start over. <laughs> Maybe not for you. For me it would be. It's a, it's a commonality to a lot of RPGs, I find. Especially ones that are based on survival. Um, where the first bit is the most fun. Because everything you find helps you in some way. Instead of finding a gun now where you just throw it in a pile of infinite weaponry. When you find that first gun, it's like, holy shit, we have a gun. We have a chance, you know? Everybody's looking to level up, blah, blah, blah. But I think we've stretched the limits of this place. We should start looking for a bigger base. I guess we're gonna go scavenge. Yeah, I could help a lot of people. Because there's no other thing to do right now. I don't remember if we had a... Is there anything in the back of this or anything we had to worry about? I don't think so. Let's make sure. No. I don't remember if we had another plan. I don't think so, but fuck it. Take this dude out scavenging. I can't see what our top thing is. Oh, one thing I did remember. Um, again, because I'm watching the older videos, I just watched the video where we specialized Steven in gardening, and we also specialized him in blunt weapon use. Yeah, we just switched him over to a heavy weapons in the last episode, so I gotta go back and fix that. Give him some blunt weaponry. We get a chance, not right now, obviously. I literally can't at the moment. Oh, jeez, that was a... It's like cresting a fucking moon crater. Guy doesn't know where we are, I don't think. Nope. I don't ever remember specifically searching this before. I'm sure I did at some point, but... Doesn't ring a bell. Six, kill six juggernauts, that'll happen in the due course. Five first aid cra kits crafted. I don't think we can do that because we don't have a medic anymore. Kill more with heavy weapons. We have to switch to a different guy, I guess. Or give this guy heavy weapons. Oh, no, he has heavy weapons, doesn't he? Yeah, that's gotta be. But I can't really see what it says. Uh, might be... Armored Zeds killed with heavy... I can't fucking see what that says. I no can I tell over here? Is it possible? I don't know what the fuck we're trying to do. Something with heavy weapons. Careful, kids. I found some useful things while I was out. Good job, whoever you are who found useful things. We're gonna find food here, probably, which we don't need. Carrie, get off the table, Buck. I love you, but you're blocking my view. Okay, we just found a fucking horde. I can't keep this up. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of shit coming. If it's kill armies heads with heavy weapons, then fuck. This is a good chance to do it, isn't it? Grave danger right now, so why not just fucking hack at these things with this axe? Heavy weapons are the great equalizer when it comes to giant fucking hordes like this. See if that number is going up. It might be. Looks like maybe we have four out of ten killed with uh, heavy weapons. Army Zeds. 
Yeah, that number went up. So we're killing army Zeds with heavy weapons. Guess who it is that? Maybe six out of ten. Day forty-four, baby. Still losing one material per day, but that's not bad at all considering the shit we had operating at base. Take it for now. Yeah, we'll get lucky in some other neighboring settlement when we need food. Be able to charge into the rescue. Since the army retreated, I've heard people say America is dead. I say America's a dream kept alive by those of us with hope. Don't you give up out there. Santa. Let's drive this over to our freaking uh, deposit place. I'll even turn these into snacks and deposit it because... We just don't need it. <laughs> If you throw it in the trunk, it's just taking up trunk space, right? If I ditch it over here, it's just pleasantly out of the way. Million and one rucksacks back at base. Mm, one snack. Alright, uh, over to here, because the next thing is around. And it's something to do. If you see any army Zeds, perhaps I'll hop out and start hacking at them. Might be worthwhile to look for a nearby, you know, military installation or something to deliberately seek that out. Maybe. Looks like I'm safe for now. We'll find construction materials in here, which again we don't really need. Maybe I'll break them down too. Can't break everything down, I guess, if we keep for it. Well, we're not on this map much longer, are we? Like a week. Less than a week, probably by now. We can afford to start um squandering construction materials, because we'll just find more on the next map. Oh look, more nothing. As a general rule, I find moving to a new map is like a challenging thing. It's meant to create more challenge. It's also meant, obviously, to uh, spice things up. But it creates more challenge in the sense that you lose all of the perks you have with all of your, your neighbors that you've, you've established. You don't have any trading partners, etc. you got to start all that process over again. But at the same time, it does... Oh, my Jesus in Christ. It does make things easier in some ways because... Um, that's, that's two hordes. <laughs> Because you do suddenly have access to, you know, s salvageable or sc scavengeable. Scavengeable? Scavengeable, yeah. Um, things again. Whoops, I didn't mean to stand up. Stand down. Okay. There's one lone fucking guy standing here next to all these other. There's this big giant horde. We could um, search that fucking plague house, but I'm not going to do that. We don't need to right now. We still have other places to search without being an idiot, you know. Let's drop stuff off in the way and go search somewhere else. P.S. We didn't find construction materials. That is a uh, fucking feral. It's not on the map. I'm starting to get dark. Kind of found a 
bunch of stuff we don't really need. Um, let's just find out a bit more about this guy in general. I'm a little curious about him. Weekend Warrior. We switch between tactical exercise in the paintball field and serious training at the range. Morale bonus from shooting training facilities. We don't have that, I don't think. Former owner. owner. No, owning your own home is a full-time job. At least a life-consuming hobby. Affects skills. Okay. Does heavy lifting. Affects skills. Practical Joker. I give the gift of humor. It's a public service. Plus four morale. Annoys irritable community members. We have a lot of people who give morale bonuses, don't we? It's a little bit insane. Alright, I guess let's just go start searching here. For something to fucking do. Actually, no, let's start with, uh, let's talk to these guys, see if they have anything for trade. Find some ammo would be nice. Zombies in all directions. Better be careful. Oh, hey. What up, Craig? I'm looking to do some trading. Sounds good. No, you got nothing. Good luck to you, though. Um, well, let's just search right here. You know, let's just walk down there. Don't need to make a ton of noise. Plague house right here. Search under this tent while we're going by, too. Yeah, there's lots of shit outside. Let me tell you this, if I was really in an apocalypse that involved giant corpse mounds that generate diseased zombies, A, I wouldn't put my house right next to one, like these guys have done. And B, I wouldn't put that house in an open barn. I'm sure they can find a place with a, you know, a less leaky roof, for one thing, but also which is much more protected. I suppose we can do something with this. There is a horde right there, and it is wandering towards me. Let's just um, keep searching quietly. I hope it just walks by. are heading in the direction I gotta head. This is no longer worth 20 influence to kill them. I guess I'm not gonna bother. I was gonna assassinate one of them, but why bother? We do not have stealth, which is what I was checking. <laughs> Armored Zeds, that's what it says. So probably cop Zeds or the, or the soldier Zeds. It's the same fucking horde, I just cut up to them. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Okay. Bolt crafting tools. Oh. Toolkit deposited. Finding some interesting things when they're scavenging. I didn't notice who did that, and I'm curious if it's a function of uh, whoever it is, that woman's skills. That she's finding really interesting things when she's scavenging. Not just like fucking snacks and bandages, but home decor. Sweet. Don't need it. I should have kept it for now, just to have uh, my pockets still open to carry more things. Is 
He's got a fucking horde of one. Carry it for now, but I reserve the right to break it down to add to that stockpile of bolts. Whatever allows us to keep searching out here long longest before we have to return home. Oh, look at this—we dropped it before. I don't really recall that. Let's finish searching out here, and we'll figure out what uh, who's calling for help. We start searching. I guess I can take a quick breather. Let's try here first. Sometimes you find Molotovs in liquor cabinets. That'd be useful. Or a rumpled jacket, caramel brown. A silky caramel jacket plus dark chocolate pants. Equals I would kill someone for dessert right now. We're done here. Man, we still got room to search for more. Let's head next door. Get this entire area cleaned out in one fucking on foot search. Oh, there's something else here. What is it? Oh, the barn. Don't give that screamer a chance to yell. I head into my right. I think I see it. Oh, it's looking in my direction. Uh, how do we get around it? say? She wants more food, Bebo. Really enjoy the peace and quiet while I can. All right, there's nothing here. All right, let's get back to our vehicle. We did the entire fucking area in one fucking go. Baby, I can't help you right now. There's enough here, though. Let's just crawl through. I know it's going to take us a tiny bit of time, but I don't feel like alerting a million and one things. See another horde of head on the left of plague zombies. Yeah, she wants more food. Oh, and a screamer following them. It's possible that they're, uh, when you see screamers walking along like that, in in, in um, State of Decay, the original, 
slash breakdown. They would often walk like that and they would reach a destination and that's when they would form an infestation when a horde led by a screamer reached a destination would form a, an infestation. I don't know if that's still the case. Sometimes infestations are formed by, you know, you're assigned a mission and therefore an infestation is assigned directly to handle it, but uh, it's not necessarily the norm. Let's go here. Ditch this shit. You try the beef? Drop off what we can. There's that same feral we heard earlier. All right, somebody asked for help. Mysterious broadcast, of course. Might as well. Ah. Don't die on the way over, okay? I mean, he's very slightly hurt. Should we swap him out? He could use a lot of training. But then again, I'm sure other people could too, like Shelly. Shelly could still use some work. In fact, very briefly, I'll switch to Steven. Just swipe just swap out his weapon before I forget, because I will. Take him off of um heavy weapons. I mean, he had a he had a nice big wrench. Let's give him one of these things again. Hyper wrench. But now let's sweep him out for Shelly, who will not be able to get us that armored Zed kill uh, bounty, but whatever. Some more 7.62 rounds in here, is there? We found some, didn't we? Oh, she's got seven left over. Let's put them away. And let's get her some health shit. That's right, she was attacked by, like, ferals before. Let's give her some of these. And some more of those. Okay. Now we're good to go. Travel to the quaint farmhouse to see what Megan has to say. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Be careful of plague zombies around here. Agreed. Knock, knock. Guess who? This place is safe for some reason. I don't know if I was here recently or what. Uh, let's get over this fence. Let's get over the safety of Megan. <laughs> plague researchers. Neutral. Brand new. Oh, these guys probably have a, Hello. a supply drop somewhere. How's it going? We're oh, all dying. Good. Yeah. I'll, 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 Alright, where do you want me to go? We've only got a limited time to do this. Right? Or is it just find some anywhere? What exactly they want me to do? Hunt down the supply drop. Yeah, where the fuck is it? Normally it gives me a, a time limit on this. And normally, <laughs> what's more, it marks a supply drop. It has not done so here. I'm not wrong about that, right? You don't see it either? If we can't see it quickly, we'll just drive to the nearest thing and just find our own plague cure and give it to them. I think the game glitched. I don't think there is this. Oh, wait, there it is. Jesus Christ. Really? Still glitched. You saw that. 
It's also not giving us a timeline. Which is unusual. Um, we're right next to a, uh, when we get there, we're right next to a, um... Yeah, definitely. Place to drop shit off, so I'm just gonna search this while we're here. Maybe someone would want this. Yes, I know we may be on a time limit that is not displaying to us, but whatever. One less place to search on the map. And the completionist in me rejoices. We can go right across the water as long as we find a safe place to go down. I guess I... Woo, is it? Juggernaut's to my left. I'm entirely sure what this is to my left. She liking it? Okay. She liked it? Good. Let's drop off the stuff we just picked up that we don't need. Because we're here. Let's pick up this. Look what I found. Not bad. Drop off everything else. <laughs> Zombie bait is nice. Now let's get back to them. Remembering that there's a bloater somewhere between us and them and a uh, bunch of juggernauts. So we're taking a road. Let's take a road. Megan. Here. I owe you one. I owe you one. Leave them to administer the cure. Consider yourself left. I did leave her. There. Finding a lot of heavy weapons, like an inordinate amount, compared to the other types of weapons. I I don't know if that's a, a mistake or a glitch. It feels like overcompensation, you know? Are they gone? Gone? I think this place is still completely searched, despite the fact that uh, it's white on the map. I think it turned white because it was inhabited. I completely searched it earlier. There's a juggernaut near at hand. Let's go elsewhere. Like here. make a ton of noise by crashing through this fence. I really need to get him. Glad that's taken care of. He would have made more noise. There's a few still around. Here, even if you find this, it's still going to stay white on the map because we haven't fully eliminated the zombies. I could be wrong. 
Uh, I was right. And I want it off the map. Just so I don't waste time coming back here later, you know? I wish it was keyed to that. When you've taken everything there is to take out of a place, then it turns black. That, to me, would make sense. There you go. Alright, where next? Right here, I guess. Let's put stuff in the back. As much as we can, just to uh, free up our hands. Or our backpack space, more to the point. Oh, we're not going far. Why are we driving? Last thing I want is to attract attention. Oh. Alright, we'll loot this place and we'll get on our way. And we get that, um, get the contents of the shed as well. I guess we're here. Better than coming back later. Abandoned shack. <clears throat> All times worth it. Never have too many of those. Let's get back to our vehicle. We'll drive straight on home. I have to slow down. You're fine. If we go right across the water, we can take this uh, path right home. Let's drive to here and turn left. As long as you don't hit a cliff or something. You know, like this. theory. Go out park. I didn't park. <laughs> That's not considered parked. That's parked. <laughs> Alright. 
secret away. Don't fucking need it, apparently. You guys gonna snipe the shit off me? Better take care of it for good. Also, um, fuck, make uh, crossbow bolts. Something to do, like crossbow bolts, to uh, absorb the excess. Right? How much are we allowed? I mean, maybe that's enough. Let's hope. Let's get her inside. Let's start this party. We're not letting any of those monsters inside. Do you hear me? I hear you. Finding them. This door is the one we gotta watch out for most often. It's another Zed surge. What's she using, by the way? Oh yeah, that's right. Cricket bat. From fearsome footage. Package. Though the sun may well have set on empires large and small, the soul of mighty Britannia lives on in this humble yet powerful. Quite the protection of the arsenal, then he will be Slayer. Yeah, my part for simply to watch. Oh, he's a watcher. Get it? I did mention that before, though. That seemed like it was an homage to Buffy, whose stake was called Mr. Pokey. Unless it was Kendra from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, who had a stake called Mr. Pokey. Watch out, Feral! There's too many dead heads to handle! Got what? Keep holding them off! So. Yeah, uh, the verdict from my wife is, um, why the fuck's this? What the hell is this? See? Tell you, man. <laughs> I just don't want to end up as a fucking zombie, man. Is, um, Kendra's stake with Mr. Pokey, and then when Kendra died, Mr. Pointy. You sure? Mr. Pointy, sorry, not Mr. Pokey. And, uh, Buffy and Aaron. Kendra died. But I was right in thinking it came from that, because obviously the reference to, uh, I would be Slayer's arsenal. I'm saying I simply like to watch. Because. The types of characters known as Watchers in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We've got this. Striking. Got the remaining zones, did I? Another I just want to make sure striking is indeed. Attack, huh? use blunt, yeah, use the blunt weapons, okay. Let's make sure everybody's using the right kind of weapon, that's all. Martin has recovered from missing flight. Let's be Becky and go get that. Uh, that infestation there. All this racket's gonna bring in More than Stink on shit. This way. Martin must have been injured in this fight, because obviously he wasn't out with us. Alright, let's drive over there, because it would be stupid to go on foot. Even though I'm a little tempted, just because it would be fun. If he gets ambushed, that won't be fun. I 
hear a bloater near at hand. I do not see a bloater. That makes me very nervous. They're spilling out onto the street. Which is good. Maybe the, uh... Maybe the fucking... I think I just saw it. Oh, fuck me. There's the bloater. Let's finish this... Clearing this infestation so we can get out of here. That horde I see on the map is not coming towards me, which is nice. I always seem to be doing this at night. Let's get her home. Blow her hurt. And we lost four bolts in that process. Let's just do a quick search to see if we can find them inside, say. No. We're under siege and need reinforcements now. Somebody's in Let's trouble. get her home so we can swap her out. She has limited uh she has bad replacement needs anyway, so she's not the best for running, and on top of that, the fact that she's inhaled up with her gas. Shape for a fucking stand. Why I'm insisting on parking this, I don't know. Shelly or Eli, let's get Eli because uh, A, he still needs to level up a bit, and B, his heavy weapon thing can unlock that, uh, that armored Zed thing. Okay, um, the grocery raider's freak in the house. I sure hope you're leaving now because the clock is ticking. Oh, hey, you got 13 minutes. 13 minutes is a fucking lifetime, my friend. Let's uh, do this as well. Refuel. Get out of the car. Alright, so we're going to the road turning right. Attracted a whole horde, guys. Hey, uh, Hope you're proud you of me. Hold off zombies for a minute or so. You never get to barricade windows anymore like you didn't. There's a bunch of things from State of Decay 1 that were fun. They were just, like, I don't know why they were specifically abandoned. Even simple mission types, right? Like when you would have somebody who would get depressed and you could take them out and help them blow off steam or train them or that kind of shit. You have a little conversation on the way. Just having those mixed in with the rest of these would 
it'll just make the game a little more fun to have more missions. The basic coding is probably still there. I mean, the basic concepts are still work. I'm sure the, the code base itself is different in State of Decay 2 than it was 1, but still. Zach's got to go down sooner or later. I'm using it a lot. Is that it? We done? Might as well trade with you. They have new items for trade. Was I just... Alright, that's what I want. This. I think that's all I need. And by need, I mean conceivably ever use that they have. Alright. Um, well. Now let's drive here first, swap them out a weapon. And trade with those guys who are right next door. Maybe they'll have some ammo. Talk to them first, as a matter of fact, because if they have anything to trade that I'm going to take, I'm going to put it in the uh, box, right? What do you say to a bit of bartering? Yeah, why not? Sure, sure. That's it. Might be a feral coming. That's pretty heavy. Sticking in the toolboxes, even though, uh. Even though we don't have our uh, mechanic anymore, it's still uh, working out okay, isn't it? Are there any heavy weapons that we got, like with a. I don't know, with a bonus, like because they're part of fearsome footage pack, for instance, or that kind of thing? This is all blunt, right? Barbed wire bats, get a bunch of those. What the hell is this? A tow hitch club. Neither better nor worse. Let's just do that. I like the axe. Alright, let's go get the uh, survivor that needed us. Hang on, I'm coming to you. Much appreciated. Bronto gas sign, Mike. Hello. The Rangers killed my friend and they had to pay. Alright. I can't get away with this. I say we take him down. All um awesome. <laughs> Let's uh fuck. Oh, we're on to another day, it looks like. Let's go here first. Uh only because 
Hey, where are we going? Okay, it's on the way. Um, I don't have a lot of ammo, and I'm five, four, five, six. I've got like 16 rounds in this thing. And I don't want to risk. Um, you know, I also might trade him off just because he's slightly hurt already. Sure. Let's go over there. We'll. Uh, maybe I'll grab a different character altogether. Come on, move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even Shelly, actually, if she's okay. Can we do that? How's, how's, how's Shelly doing? She's fine. Let's use her because she has a nice fucking weapon. She's good to go with that. Um, let's get her. Some med kits and shit, and some bloater gas. Not bloater gas. Um, let's get a few med kits. Put two in the trunk, just in case. And we'll also grab, um, Zombate. Assuming we can find it. I'm carrying a bit much right more now. more than enough. Zombie, incoming. <laughs> The med kit's back here, so we're not weighted down all the hell. We'll have them if we need them. Carry the rest of the zombie bait. And let's drive on up. She's got her weapon, but we can also uh, make sure they have a hard time with the zombies. Is this the right way? are always a little harrowing, even since the humans have been uh, toned down a bit. The fact there's been three enemies firing at me is still, uh... could lose Shelly here, which I certainly don't want to do. In that regard, we should have kept Eli, because if we lose him, it's kind of a boom. Shelly's our girl. We're here. Oh shit. This is gonna kinda suck. It's time for you to die! Given where it is. Fire in the hole! Okay, this one is following you. Don't fucking fire. Shooting. No shooting. Period. Ooh, that's a nice fucking bunch of zombies heading in there. See, I, I see a juggernaut down the street. It'd be nice if we could lure that over. They're not on the roof or anything, are they? Getting attacked. Here they are. And they're there. There's a lot of fucking zombies fighting them. Stay here, I said.
more shooting. Where's that juggernaut? They dead? They're not dead. Some of them might be. No chance on the roof or anything, is there? Because this would be a useless tactic if they're on the roof. Oh fuck me. Shut up. I've only seen one question mark left. There might only be one human left. Hey, you need some, baby. That screamer's going. see it on the roof. I'm not hearing any firing from their direction. That, that, that's it. There it is, coming out. Surrounded by zombies. Should be suffering. Is it not? tell what's going on, can you? They're trying to aim at us, but the zombies should be attacking it. There's still two of them alive there, sorry. This thing should be more than enough to take care of them. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show, guys. Fucking the juggernaut's after it now. seeing one question mark, but that doesn't mean anything. There could be two of them on top of each other or something, I'm not sure. One of them could be a back beyond the range of my uh, sight here. I threw another jar of zombie to be fun, but uh, they are debulated. advantage of being in this plague area. Again, how they're surviving this is a little bit of a mystery. One of them gone. <laughs> Finally. Get the other one. I see him clustering around that tree. Is he near that tree? Seems like he's coming this way. 
Get down. Stay down. As soon as he pokes his head up, I'll shoot him. Get out of my way. Here, it must have escaped. There it is. Probably feel bad about this, but I don't. We're done here. Time to go. We're not done. We gotta. Loot the bodies. We gotta kill these screamers. There's fucking stuff to search in here, too. But let's find the bodies. Are you, uh, do I talk to you? The Rangers won't bother anyone again. I'd like to give you a little something for trouble. Thank you. Oh, we got to choke us for shotguns, I think. I guess that's useful ish. I have no idea where they died. Oh, there you go. This one got torn apart by a juggernaut, clearly. Sounds like Mike may have run into trouble just as he left. <laughs> That's almost as Sorry, my as friend. I can't help you there. Try not to die, but if you do, I'll search your body, too. Please get away, sir. I can't help you. making my eyes burn. Must be a plague heart nearby. Look at that. That's fucking creepy. They just slid around along like snakes there. Jeez, I wish that guy would get out of there. Just run. He's running, he's running, he's running. Don't stand, don't stand and fight. Don't fire a single shot at them. Where's my car? Right there. We gotta get at the least to uh, here. Yes. Can we get there on foot? No. Ton of hordes in that region. Is there a better one to go to? Let's drive up the road to here instead. I don't know if there was a third person there or not. Third buddy, whatever. We'll be back there sooner or later. If there is, we'll probably stumble across it. 
I said got up and walked away as a like zombie. Or something like that. C1A Ursus shotgun. Really good durability. Alright, let's pull Eli back out. So let's get her the last of her uh, ammo as well. Last magazine. Better make these shots count. Alright, Eli, come on out and kill some armored Zeds, hopefully. Um, where are we off to? This is the closest spot to search. So I guess that's it. Unless we already searched it. Didn't we already search it and it was like stayed white or something because of reasons? <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's go down here instead, even though it was a fucking feral there. There have been four screamers there. It's passed. Zeds. with my fucking things just to get that thing killed. Seven out of ten. If that stupid fucking this feral horde hadn't shown up, even if it was just one feral, I would have stayed and fucking fought. With three of them, I was asking for trouble. Again, I love the sniper support, but you gotta admit that having it that frequently accessible is just a little too easy. Like, that's, that's a get-out-of-jail almost free card. If it was once an hour, and the other one was once every two or three hours for me, I'd be like, okay, that's fair. There's a balloon that I'm seeing down there. Fuck. <laughs> is in a second just out of curiosity. The fuck is that? Just litter? Is it just trash? What 
bunch of trash bags. It, it's a fucking recycling bin or something. There is something to search there, remarkably. Let's see what somebody threw out here. Smoke bomb. I got this map picked clean a few days ago, like in terms of gameplay. Oh, good. 5.56 is nice. Um, actually, matter of fact, that's exactly what he needs. I was this thinking my to myself, um, Should be a problem later. that we're going to leave this map without searching everything. I have to say I'm a completionist before it's clear that I just uh, search everything. You know, I want to have everything off the map. Ideally, before we. Uh, Thing is great against hordes, that's for sure. He has a nice, a nice addition to the game. The heavy weapons. That's a really good. That would, unlike sometimes they add stuff, and I'm like, I don't understand why you're adding this frivolous thing. This one item that's more or less identical to every other item in the game, and I, I'm never going to differentiate the two. And every once in a while they come along and add something like that. It's just like, fuck, that's great. Let's go there, drop everything off we found, and then we'll decide what to do next. There's places to search around here. There's also um, somebody's calling us on the radio. We found a Tassie Devil revolver that we don't need in the least, but whatever. Paul, Christy. Christy, it is. Uh, I'm just carrying a lot of shit here. What's this thing? Go do this, and we're probably done blowing out the welcome bag. That's good. Somebody new. Hey, Late thanks. in our stay, but alright. It was 16 minutes left. And then down in the, uh,
Jesus. As long as they can be useful. How's it going? Good. What's your name? Come here, Are you Jana? Jana, I know is a dude. Let Hello. me break it down. We're setting up a new base, but you guys are hogging the supplies. How about you share some of your building materials? Okay. Okay, great. I literally have no need of them. Apparently, I can search here. Is it just saying that's my base? That's my base, isn't it? Yeah, sure, I'll just go get some. I'm trying to get some out of the fucking trunk of my van. You go enjoy. Oh, good. Don't worry about it. You guys friends now? Still magically neutral. Hey. All right. Hey there, business partner. Sure. You're the last you got any ammo? No. All right. Um, we're almost done here, guys. There is one last thing. We might as well do it right here. Survivor in need. Let's just do it. To be done with it, and I think we're calling the game there. That'll be right around the 90 minute mark. Minutes shy, we'll just drive home if we have time afterwards. No, call it Get through the days, guys. I think only 55 days left to go where we're at, roughly. 54. Get low, though. Not that much. Almost time to move. Another four or five days, we're out of here. The Cascade Hills. Fun getting a tour of all the maps. Hi Make a playthrough. That's where Mike was, I think. That's where I've never seen the van here. A couple of my network buddies went dark at the pump station. I gave some help getting them. Great, thanks. Let's go. After you, huh? That's close to home, too. Seriously, tilt earth. You there, hon? I need some help here! Anyone! Help 
Bullets on the way. Am I glad you? That was it. Could be that damn plague. This is going to mean a lot to everyone. I don't know if Wilkins can make it without you. Okay. Here's a share of what we scavenged. Thanks. Let's, Let's trade with you before we can. Whatever. What can I have? You some of your ammo? Not precisely the kind of ammo I want, but whatever. Don't need any five points, five six stuff. This is going uh, to mean thank a you. lot to everyone. Our thanks. Thanks for your trumble gatekeeper. What does that do? Um, uh, seven point six just just unload it. At least we should be doing that with most of our weapons. We probably have some extra ammo stored away. Let's keep weapons. that screamer quiet. Let's get home and dump this stuff off and call it a show. Alright, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Let's just get a... Get out here. Kill whatever's coming up on us. Alright, we're done. That's that, and I'm out of here. No more missions. Nope. see what day we're on. Allegedly, we still have seven minutes to leisurely look at what day we're on, but let's take ten seconds to do it. Uh, campaign. Manage your communities. Survive 44 days, 56 days to go. Alright, man. We are getting there, man. See you later.